the Knicks. It's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. R.J. Barrett is out there with A.I. And it's Harkless in at the three, the small four. And for the Heat, Jake Crowder out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, and there's Iguodala. And it's Dragic in at the point. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me harken all the way back to college and one of my teammates, Stacy Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Well, we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Hooked away. Iguodala, the pass to Dragic. AI outside. to Robinson. AI outside. From outside, off the mark. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Rocket just got the ball. That shot misses. Now the Knicks take it the other way. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, let's give a shout out to their defense in that one. The intensity, the shot blocking, just a dominant performance. Yeah, last game was pretty impressive stuff on that end of the floor, just getting up near shooters and blocking as many shots as they did. Miami no good on that time either. Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. Drops in the layup for two. I'm impressed with R.J. Barrett and his body control when he's around the basket like that. Good finish. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Dragic with a wide open look. Miami no good on that time either. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Shooting 4 or 5 to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. The Heat have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. Well, the Knicks fans looking for any ray of hope, and it doesn't have to come at the hands of high-level draft choices. Mitchell Robinson is one of those young players right now for them who's showing a ton of promise. And Robinson, a second-round pick for the Knicks. Brent, he has been a steal. I agree with you. He started playing basketball in eighth grade, so you wonder how much more unlimited and untapped potential does Mitchell Robinson have at this position? Iguodala, that's good. And off the schneid here, one of five, but that's a big one. The Knicks have gone four of five from the field so far. AI kicks the barrel. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. There's a tremendous demand in the NBA right now for the kind of build that R.J. Barrett gives you at that guard position. So sturdy, so strong, and he has a chance to be one of the best guards in the league for many years to come. Now here's Iguodala. Pass to Butler. Right side, Dragic. The three. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Dragic has got five now. Feels like Jimmy Butler is getting better on how he finds the open teammates, really elevating his playmaking skills. And Brent, some breathless comparisons for R.J. Barrett. People throwing out names like, like Grant Hill and Tracy McGrady. I mean, that's a, a ton of optimism around names like that. But this young player has a drive and a will. And I think he has the kind of composure to show you what he's made of. And if it reaches anywhere near those other players, Kevin, he's going to have one heck of a career. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Here's none. Following the basket by Julius Randle. Crowder kicks to none. Six to shoot. Robinson with the block. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. AI sinks the triple. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Outside Robinson. Outside Crowder. Now, here's none. He's guarded close. Looking to end the run. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Kendrick Nunn playing at...
second quarter of basketball just over a minute and a half played so far and those four straight titles in Illinois record made it seven total in Simeon's history. That's unbelievable stuff, and that's probably why there's great reason why Kendrick Dunn's jersey hangs there in the rafters. Only four players have gotten that honor. Setting the four for the Knicks. It's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. AI is out there with Barrett, and it's Harkless in at the three slot. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Hawks was all business. He dropped in 34 points, and his passing was just incredible. He piled up an impressive number of assists. A very solid stat line for him in what was a terrific outing. And we know he wants to keep the momentum going, Kevin. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Pass to Harkless. AI outside. Here's Randall. Lays it up and banks it in. Randall's got his second basket. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Iguodala outside. Now the pass to Butler. Kicks it out to Jones. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got four rebounds in this game and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Randall getting up there explosive vertically on that play with great timing. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by AI. In the corner, Barrett with it. AI dishes to Barrett. Yep, it counts. Barrett's got nine. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. The Heat trail by 18. Here's none. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal, shooting at a four of nine clip. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. The block shot grabs it out of the air. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Heat. It's an 18-point game coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Here's AI following the score by Miami. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Taj Gibson's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. For Miami, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter, up over 50%. None passes to Iguodala. He dishes it to Butler. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Defense had the right idea there, but maybe not enough time in the weight room. Butler right through that. Iguodala outside. Out to the right wing. Here's none. It's rebounded by New York. They led by as many as 18 points. Next up in the dock at the Bucks following this one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. New York moving it around. And Barrett slams it in. It's awesome to have a guy at that size be able to accelerate and elevate like RJ did there. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And then Jones with the jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And Barrett with the basket on the assist by AI. Barrett's got six in the quarter. 
Well, RJ is a natural scorer. It's very hard to shake him off that kind of focus. And so it's the New York Knicks. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the... And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, R.J. Barrett has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him, really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. They've got Iguodala, Jay Crowder out there with Olenek, and there's Jimmy Butler, and it's Dragic in at the one. It's the group on the floor for Miami. You know, you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route? No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has, has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts of maybe going in that direction. Uh, teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately <laughs> demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to have an impact socially moving forward. There, there are several guys, again, who not only have the voice, but the courage to speak out about things that matter most to them. And he's sharp guys in the NBA. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thanks. If you ask Miami coach Eric Spolstra, there's been a long lineage of undrafted players who've made an impact with the Heat. Going back, think about big guys like Udonis Haslam, Joel Anthony, and Hassan Whiteside. Now you have youngsters like Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, Derek Jones Jr., and Chris Silva. Miami continues to find diamonds in the rough year after year. Guys? They usually do. That's a very creative organization. Thanks, DA. And that's a good heads-up play there from RJ. The Heat trail by 19. You wonder if RJ Barrett could be the best player to come out of Canada. Now, that's some high praise because I had many years battling against one Steve Nash. But R.J. Barrett has a high, high ceiling. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And Barrett's father... <laughs> Miami's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Jones kicks to Crowder. Three, three, three. None against Gibson, and Robinson wide open. He shoots, buries the long-range jumper. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. AI passes to Peyton. AI outside, and Robinson comes to help. And that one's good, AI. AI's got his third basket of the night. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now, here's none. 11 points in the game. That one falls. When a player gets a feel for that floater, you can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. And Portis throws it down. What a fantastic finish there on the break. Man, what about that pass? Eyes in the back of my head. Delivers it right on the money. Inside. Hero passes to Crowder. Pass to none. Here's Hero. Another shot. And there's the bucket as Jones finishes it off. Jones has got seven points in the game. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. None looking around. Tipped away. And stolen by Portis. Back to AI. Fires the three, and he's good on the three ball. AI's got five points now this quarter. 
And so it's New York holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. From and a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. The Knicks leading by 22, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. And New York looking at who they've got. They've got Taj Gibson. Julius Randle is out there with Mo Harkless. Then there's Peyton. And it's AI in at the two spot. Peyton outside. Clock is at three. Let's it go from deep. And it's Miami with the rebound. Oh, Linux got his fourth rebound in this one. And there it is for him. Butler's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Miami. AI outside from outside the arc. Rebound by Olenek. Oh, Linux got five rebounds tonight. Here's Butler. Randall grabs the board. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Here's Butler. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Butler's got four points now in the quarter. That was a possession where Jimmy Butler just did not settle for the jump shot. Drove right in and came right at the defense. A nice shot by AI. And certainly they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. None kicks to Iguodala. None passes to Butler. To answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Rendell bringing it up now for the New York Knicks. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Peyton against none. Here's the floater. Olenek has the open look. Buries it from three-point range. And in that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second. Trying to use that shot to stay in the game. Oh, oh no way. Oh, that's nuts. Yeah. Randall getting up there, turning a little bit, and putting on a bit of a show here. None against Peyton. None kicks to Iguodala. Right side, Butler over Harkless, and it's Butler missing. The Knicks leading by 22, and a wide open look for AI. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Peyton against none. Iguodala, that's a two-pointer. Excellent D there from AI. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. The basket count. So no problem for New York as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.
as of right now, Damian Lillard's Trailblazers are making their eighth run at that elusive NBA championship. Could this be the year for them? Well, the NBA 2K21 cover athlete is always a a subway system in man and with three well kevin david aldridge thank you here are the starters for milwaukee Giannis is the four with lopez the five ludzo is out there with dante DiVincenzo, and it's middleton in at the three and for the knicks barrett knox are the wingmen it's randall and robinson at the four and the five and it's ai in at the point Greg, if your system overall for these teams, if the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason? Or, in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's never easy. Uh, a system change would come typically with a coaching change. And the reality is you also have to evaluate the roster. And, and you can't fit that square peg into a round hole. Whatever your system is, it's got to be catered to the personnel you have. You can't go the other way around. And I think that's what what separates oftentimes the good coaches from the great ones. Now, here's AI. In the corner, knocks with it. Back to AI. Shoots the three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Last time they met was in Milwaukee. And the last time they were able to come away with that win because of their depth. Great production from the reserve. I think sometimes the bench can make or break you in a particular game, and that was a total team effort, no question. To the inside, and Randall throws it down. Wow, excellent explosion off his feet by Julius Randall. About one minute into the first quarter. And a star player at Kentucky, Julius Randle, selected seventh back in 2014. And it's not easy as a young player to overcome an injury early. But Julius has done that, and he has proven capable as a scorer in the NBA. And that, to me, is where he can make his mark. Lopez with the block. Just superb timing. Lopez stretches out beautifully to send that back. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. For New York, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. AI outside over Blutso. They get it back. Robinson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Well, this is where Mitchell Robinson can make his impact on the offensive end. Get the putback with that verticality. They throw good. Robinson endorsed. The Knicks have made it clear. They, they see Mitchell Robinson as one of their key young players moving forward. So would I, Greg, if I had a quick twitch seven-footer with the shot-blocking abilities, the defensive instincts, and this guy is putting in the time to grow his game on the offensive end. Listen, Mitchell Robinson is going to be a problem in this league. Bobby Portis has checked in for the Knicks. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. The three, so Robinson pulls it in. Knicks have gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. And AI gets it to go on the assist by Barrett. That's two things right there for R.J. Barrett. It's awareness and unselfishness. Pretty pass. The Nakumbo against Portis. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Robinson with the block. Well, no easy buckets with Mitchell Robinson in the vicinity. Sends that back with authority. And it's AI missing. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Middleton up top. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. Here's on to Takumbo. Robinson with the block. The Knicks leading by seven. Portis kicks to AI. There at the pass to Knox. AI outside. Six on the shot clock. Some nice passing by New York here. Barrett, no good. 
And so Andre DeCumbo will bring it up for Milwaukee. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. There, there has to be a willingness to take chances, jumping for steals, getting out in passing lanes, and all of that worked in their favor. Bucks trail by seven. To the paint. Here's Bledsoe. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Boy, finishes close in. Eric Bledsoe plays bigger than that 6-1 frame would suggest. Robinson left side, and stolen by DiVincenzo. And it's Bledsoe off the drive, and Bledsoe with the stuff. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Here's Connaughton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The pass to Lopez. Shot clock at five. Over Randall. The shot's good from Lopez. Lopez has got the lead up to eight now for Milwaukee. And beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Ilya Sove at the four with Lopez at the five. Then it's Chris Middleton. Then it's George Hill. And it's Connaughton in at the, the two. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Heat delivered a performance for the ages. He had 16 points and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. He did a little bit of everything for them. It just seemed like he was everywhere on the floor. Kevin, back to you. Thanks for the report, D.A. Great phenomenal effort by him in that last game. He willed the team to victory through his talent and through that competitive. Let's give credit to his teammates for continuing to find this guy. They knew he had the hot hand, and they were willing to ride it all night long. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Now an update on Taj Gibson's injury. Let's go to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Knicks head athletic trainer. He's currently suffering from shin splints and is in a lot of pain right now. This injury could be devastating for them. This is a team that had title hopes, Kevin, and this is not what they need. All right, David, thanks. Well, guys, certainly not the news his fans were hoping for. Yeah, not at all. I mean, it sounds like he's got a long road ahead of him in terms of his recovery. And our hearts go out to him. The guy works so hard. His teammates love him. Coaches love him. He's going to be missed. And it's AI missing. Bucks leading by five. Ball stolen. And Barrett with the basket on the assist by AI. AI's got four assists now tonight. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That'll be his second foul of the game. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. And the Bucks making a change here. Onto the Kumbos checked in. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Now here's Middleton. He's guarded closely. Yep, that one goes. And just about every one of Middleton's shots is a smart one. Even from mid-range, he's not going to force anything. AI dishes to Randall. Barrett with the ball. Picked up 21 points in their last win against Miami. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down to just two points in the bucket from AI. Giannis outside. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Randall. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills. And tonight, 
it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And Greg, you play with some big personalities. Talk about the best way to manage egos and conflicts in the locker room. That's a that's a very interesting uh, interesting topic. No doubt about it. You know, Kev, first thing you learn from middle school on, your team is your family. And let's face it, all families have spats, uh, and so do teams. You just learn to never personalize those things never leave any stone unturned like don't let things fester when there are issues you address them uh, and if you're not taking things personally you tend to be able to work through whatever issues uh, you may come in front of good advice and he can't get the first one well, free throw shooting is a constant cause of concern for them, and today that concern has been front and center. A different look for New York. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Kevin Knox, and it's Peyton in for Barrett. Matthews, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And the dunk by Giannis. Eric Bledsoe's court vision is probably underrated. What a pretty pass. Here's AI. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got three assists in the game. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Now here's Bledsoe. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Lakers. Good on the shot. Giannis has got 18 points in the game. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Peyton passes to AI. Back to Peyton. Now, here's Aon. He's covered by Matthews. Lopez with the steal. One on one here. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The second effort. And out of the Kumbo, lays it up and in. Giannis has got the lead up to eight now for Milwaukee. Right wing. It's deflected. Here's Aon. G right on him. Used the shot bank to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Here's Todd, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you... And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action. Follow... And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far... It has been a runaway. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. Knox and Randall, they're the forwards. Barrett is out there with AI. And it's Robinson in at the center position. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. And Eric Bledsoe, a special kind of athlete. And three separate knee surgeries in the rear view. But still so fast, his teammates call him Ferrari. The way he's built, a muscle car might be more accurate. Well, that leadership from Lopez, wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. A.I. passes to Randall over Bledsoe. That's good from Randall on the assist by A.I. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. He's got 22. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim, can G.A. take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. None of it feels like an exaggeration. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. 
Hey, Kevin. Well, if you just look for a few minutes of Giannis Adentacupo on the court, you know why he's called the Greek Freak, but it's the drive that makes him an MVP. He said, people try to make it complicated. Life is simple. You know what you want, go get it. Do what it takes every day and don't lie to yourself. Guys, I hope you understand I'm being truthful in all of these reports. Back to you. Love the intensity. David, thank you. The Bucks making a switch here. Elias Opus checked in. Giannis high post. Robinson on him. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. Milwaukee. No good that time either. Pass to AI. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Back to Barrett. Lock at six. AI kicks to Barrett. Launches it. Onto the Kumbo grabs the miss. Onto the Kumbo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Knicks trail by 18. Here's AI. A three-pointer is right on target. AI's got 15 points. Really good patience from Kevin Knox, understanding how to deliver a pass on time and on target. Bounce pass on to Kumbo. This is it to Middleton. A three-pointer, no good. I know he wants to answer the three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot possible. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. And here's Giannis after the three-pointer from AI. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to stick. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. They've got Chris Middleton. Hudson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Tom. And it's Ilya Silva in at the five, roaming the paint. Uh, there are times Bledsoe can get a little helter-skelter, but right on point with that pass. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Robinson with the block. Knicks trail by nine. Three-pointer. That's good from Randall on the assist by AI. 14 points for Julius Randall. And I tell you what, they're doing their best to cut down the lead with some smart offense here in the second half. Shot selection much improved since the break. Moment here now for an injury report. Now an update on Taj Gibson's injury. Let's go to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Knicks head athletic trainer. He's currently suffering from shin splints and is in a lot of pain right now. And if he misses a lot of games, it will obviously be a big blow to their chances of winning it all this year. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. There's no question because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. Even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Ludzo passes to Middleton. Now here's DiVincenzo. Here at covering. To blood so and just miss after miss right now it's all about the defense right there without that level of activity he probably scores it that's in and the milwaukee lead is cut to just one point on the basket from randall yeah this offense is rolling they've been assertive but they're also playing under control i think the communication on offense is working at every level right now what a run for this group 
Middleton the pass to Lopez. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Mitchell Robinson. Well, if you allow Lopez to get that kind of touch, it's really hard to guard the seven-footer without fouling him. Antetokounmpo's checked in for time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And Randall throws it down. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. And so it's Bunso. He brings it up for the Bucks. They led the game at one point by 20. On the wing, Giannis. And the shot goes down. 30 points for Giannis. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Good on the triple. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty good. And they double up Giannis to the middle. And the dunk by Lopez. Lopez with a big time delivery from the big man. Trying to get open is Randall. And AI gets it to go. That's an important shot right there, guys. I mean, he's produced from deep all game long. Yeah, he's done more work outside the arc than inside it. And that's not going to change now. They'll ride his long range game all the way to the end of this one. Yes, that goes in. Oh. This guy, such a shrewd, fearless competitor when it counts the most. Bledsoe delivers once again. Lopez over to help. Barrett kicks to AI. And again, New York with the triple. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Lopez with the bucket. You know, I think Lopez knows basically he can get a shot up over anyone. That stretch ability as a perimeter scorer is so important. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Knocks it loose and stolen by AI. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And the double up on it to Kumbo. Lopez. And Lopez throws it down. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. For three, Middleton. Here's Antetokounmpo. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Now just a two-point New York lead. On the pass to Barrett. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Pass to Robinson. New York needs to get off a shot. AI, no good. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Lopez, no luck. So, guys, it comes down to this. Time for your stars to shine. They'll get another chance. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Pass to Randall. He kicks it to Barrett. Launches a three. Knocks down the three. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by five. Nine seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? No time to waste here. Quick bucket and a foul. Everybody has got to be in the exact perfect position defensively, and execution has got to be on point. And a big-time playmaker. When the game is up for grabs, give the rock. 
to Giannis. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're behind by five. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Fires the three. Good! It's just another thing to love about Bledsoe. He is underrated in the clutch. So a close game sees New York take this one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. Thank you.